Hi, I'm Tyson Franklin, and welcome to this week's episode of 5 Minute Friday. Now, this is part two, or marketing pillar two, of the six pillars of marketing. Now, last week, I spoke about marketing pillar number one, which was professional referrers and all the ways you need to stay in contact with them. Now, marketing pillar number two is non-professional referrers. Now, I define a non-professional referrer as any business or individual that has the ability to refer a client to your business, but they are outside your specific industry. This marketing pillar is often neglected and I think unloved at times, but they can be one of your biggest sources of referrals because every industry is different and so are the types of non-professional referrers you can get from different industries. But I'll share just a few examples and let your imagination sort of come up with the rest. In pillar one, I mentioned how a carpenter could get a referral from a plumber. That is a professional referrer. It's someone within their own industry. Or an accountant could get a referrer or a referral from a bank manager or a financial planner. Once again, that is industry specific. Now, think outside of that, a hairdresser. Both of these businesses could get a referral from a hairdresser or a beauty salon. And now, if you're not going to a beauty salon yourself, maybe your partner goes to a beauty salon. But these are places where you can make connections with and actually get referrals. However, don't limit yourself to the most obvious businesses. Think outside the square a little bit. Where do you visit on a regular basis? What about uh, a coffee shop would be a perfect example. Do you buy coffee at, a, at the same coffee shop on a regular basis? They need to know who you are. They need to know more about your business and you need to stay in touch with them. And the other part, you need to treat your non-professional referrers the same way you treat your professional referrers. You need to treat them equally. You should treat your non-professional referrers with the same respect you would your professional referrers. They deserve nothing less and they must be nurtured in exactly the same fashion as you would your professional referrers. Add the details to your database. Know their names and the name of the business managers that run those businesses. Send cards, bottles of wine if they're referring clients to you. Invite them to third-party events like you did with your professional referrers and invite them to lunches. Invite them to information evenings and parties. These are the same things you would invite your professional referrers to. And if it's good enough for them, it's good enough for your non-professional referrers. Now, if you have to ask yourself if someone should or should not be added to your non-professional referrers list, then the answer is they should because you can always remove them at a later date if the relationship is not really working the way that you want it. And once you have their details in your database, you need to maintain regular contact with them. Don't try and shove your business card down the throat or leave business cards and flyers, you know, basically on their countertop, even if you think they need your services or their clients would benefit by knowing you. If you build a good relationship with them, they may eventually ask you for your business cards or flyers before you even get the chance to offer them. Here's two ideas every business can do regardless of the industry and it's not going to cost you a lot of money to implement. Idea number one, go and talk to the owner or the manager of a local coffee shop and ask if you can sponsor the first 10 cups of coffee sold on a Monday morning. At $5 a cup, it's going to cost you about 50 bucks and all you ask in return is when the coffee is handed over, they say, this coffee has been paid for by company ABC, which will be your company. If the coffee shop also agreed to hand out your business card with each cup of coffee, that would be even better. And if you had time and you were actually having a coffee on a Monday morning yourself while you were there, they could easily say, this coffee has been paid for you by company ABC and the owner of that business is actually just sitting over there enjoying a cup of coffee themselves. I'll guarantee those people will come over to you and say thank you and they will remember they got that cup of coffee. Plus, they'll go back into their work that day and they will tell people they got a cup of coffee from your business. Now, this might seem like a real shotgun approach. And if you just went out there and said first 10 people, it probably is. But you can you can sort of make this a bit more specific. You can narrow down the market if you wish. You could stipulate it's for the first 10 men or first 10 women. It could be the first 10 people that come with children or the first 10 people wearing tracky dacks. It's really up to you. You can narrow it down. It could be the first 10 men wearing tracky dacks who have a young child with them, depending on what your target market is. So that's how you narrow down those first 10 cups of coffee on a Monday morning. The second idea is much easier, and it's really about just setting up an account at a local coffee shop. 
that may be close to your business, but you want to make sure they've got good coffee. You don't want just the closest. And you use this with your existing clients. A client comes in and sees you, they've had a great day, a great experience, and you know that they're heading somewhere near that coffee shop. And you go, hey, when you go through, walk into that coffee shop, drop my name, and they will give you a free cup of coffee. It just gets added on your account and they will give you a tally at the end of the month. Now you might tell that coffee shop you need to keep track of the numbers, but you're the person that's inviting the people to go and get that free cup of coffee. And I'll tell you, your clients will love you for it. So the last thing I just wanna to say to you is just remember, your non-professional referrers are outside your industry, professional referrers are inside your industry. And make sure you nurture your non-professional referrers the same way you would nurture your professional referrers. And they will thank you for it. Okay, I will talk to you next week with Marketing Pillar number three. Bye for now. <laughs>